So we're here at Beauty Addicts in Salt Lake City, and this is Rhonda uh, working on one of her favorite clients. And we're doing the Dermapen. This is microneedling therapy. Uh, those of you who don't understand or are not sure what the microneedling might be, and the word needling sometimes does cause a little bit of a red flag with some of us, but microneedling is something that, um, as a therapy option, has been around for... Uh, close to 20 years, and uh, the early state—I guess the early therapy—involved dry needling. What they found was early uh, plastic surgery during its infant years left some pretty unsightly scars. And as um, as a theory, they thought, well, let's inject pigment into these scars with just a, t a tattoo device. And see if that masks or covers up the damage so, or the or the the scar area. So they noticed that the it was hard to match pigment. And they also noticed that um, pigment metabolizes. So, but the after effects of actually physically needling something with the, a tattoo device created a much softer scar, pliable, and reduced in size. So they noticed that we could just dry tattoo this, and it'll work just the same. I'm going to show them the needle here, Chad. It's just a little vibration needle that can penetrate into the dermis. It goes from a 2.0 to a 0.5. Um, so I can go as little as I want or as much as I want to. This is my patient here, Carrie. This is her first treatment here. So Carrie, I'm going to start now. I've applied a numbing cream to her face, a topical. So she's pretty numb here. I'm going to start with a 1.5. And I'm going to apply some pressure down here on her neck this way. And I'm just going to take it up into a little slow motion. How are you doing, Carrie? Okay? Mm-hmm. So these micro needles are basically 33 gauged. They're really almost the smallest needle that they, that surgically we offer. And there's nine of them and there's a tiny cluster and they're just vertically oscillating up and down into the skin, creating hundreds if not thousands of micro channels. And they're opening those existing pores and the skin looks a little bit Glossy, what are we using? I'm doing a new hyaluronic gel that um, they've just come out with that I think is fabulous for this treatment. You need some extra slip on this in order to get that needle to glide through the skin. Um, so it's just making this a lot more comfortable for my patient. And she's actually pretty comfortable. Are you comfortable today? I'm very comfortable. So I've done a pass here. Now I'm going to come back on a different angle this way. And now I'm going to make my second pass going back and forth this way. You can really customize this treatment for your clients depending on where they need the most work done. So I'll show you later how I go across the lip and can get rid of little fine lines and wrinkles on my clients around their mouth, around their eyes. So, so I'm, I'm still at a 1.5 here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm careful to go up around the eyes too close. Make sure you still have enough slip up here. And then I can pull the skin a little bit tighter and go around it this way. So once I've done those two passes, now if I felt that my patient could tolerate it, I would take it up to the 2.0. Carrie, you okay with I'm that right. if I go up mm -hmm. a little bit more? Yes. Now I'm going to take it into little circles, making sure I have enough slip on the skin that I can just come in contact with that and very gently going across those cheeks. So it is pretty painless. Um, there's a, an aesthetic topical cream that within the protocols of the procedure they'll use a topical, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, to begin treatment. What's the total treatment time do you think this will take? About an hour. I usually do a pre-peel on the face to exfoliate a little bit so I can get that numbing cream to penetrate well, okay. and then I take a good half hour to do a treatment. So I'm not in a hurry to do this, I just want to make sure that I'm covering all the surface of the skin. So once I felt like I've got this in my circles and my other passes here, my horizontal, my vertical swipes, now I'm going to turn it down to a point one. And all I'm going to do is make sure I have enough slip. I'm going to hold the skin tight and I'm going to come up around her eye this way. Right. And I'm going to get as close underneath that eye as I possibly can. 
and I'm going to start coming down here and still making little tiny circles coming back up under the eye. It does get a little bit more painful, don't you agree, Carrie, around the cheek area by the on bone? Your, on your bone. Yeah. But it's not as tall So as I'm going to hold the lip tight now, and I'm going to just take this back and forth across that lip. Make sure you ask your clients if they get cold sores because mm -hmm. this could actually irritate them enough that they could get a fever blister here or a cold sore and actually okay. break out into one. So um, I do half the face, as you can see. I keep the numbing cream on the rest of her face, so it's still working for me as far as being numb goes. Do you ever ask them to you know, hide her lips, maybe to keep that area tighter? That you can. I just like to get that ridge, so I'm just pulling the area okay. tight this way. So I'm going right over that ridge, and when I'm done, they'll actually feel like they've had an injection in their lips because their lips feel so tight. Yeah. So you can see how she's got a little bit of bleeding going on in the skin, and that's great. That's just normal reaction, and you want that. You want to know that you're piercing that deep enough. A lot of people have really fine lines here, so I'm going to work outside their mouth mm -hmm. here and really get a good treatment. Same Smile with the line. nasal mm -hmm. folds here. I'm just going to work those for her as well. While I'm here, and I'm only at a one, I'm just going to take it up the nose while I'm here, because I've also numbed her nose, and just go up from here. So is there a strategy to what area to start? Do you start with the forehead? Do you not? The forehead, like to me, what I found is that a lot of my clients complain that that's the most tender. Mm -hmm. So I start with the face first, and the forehead's the last thing. Then I'll continue down the neck. So, so right now, while she's still numb, I'm going to just go ahead and wipe off the other side turn her face to the side here. And all I'm doing is using some alcohol and I'm just wiping off my numbing cream. So, what, I mean, really the, the collagen induction through means of microneedling is such a simple technology that allows the patient to have little to no downtime, right? Correct. Um, and the treatment itself is not a... See how nice that is? Mm -hmm. That just stays on the skin so I actually have time to go in and just wipe it around, and I can just move that all over the face. Hyaluron, and, Hyaluron and, and B5 is not acidic. It doesn't have, it's, it really is not a artificial either. It's something that's a great already hydration mm -hmm. for people's skin. We can all use that, especially living in Utah, with especially the climates and the elevation here. It's always great to have a little extra hydration in our skin. So I don't need a lot, I just like a little bit of slip on their skin, so then I can treat them well. And for me, I've just found that if I could do this and do it, um, now I'm going to go back to my 1.5, and I always keep my speed on 7. That's the highest you can do this at. Some people can turn it down slower here, which is okay, but I think it hurts a little bit more. So you, that's up to your client's whatever you choose to do. So for me, I like to go at it at 7. So I'm always taking a gauze and retracting the neck down so I get a tight mm -hmm. feel on the skin here. So I can glide my needle Yeah, you can really tell that easier. that helps with traction there. You can really pull. Mm -hmm. If you don't hold it tight, I feel that you just lose control of the skin and it catches a little bit more and I think it's more painful for the client. So You'll learn a technique doing this that you'll be able to get comfortable with on your own. So when they come to Beauty Addicts, right, and, yes. and want the treatment done by you, uh, what are some of the benefits? What are they going to realize? It's going. They're going to absolutely love the way their skin feels. They're going to go out of here feeling like they've had a really great treatment done. And the, the tightening, what they feel afterwards is amazing. The retexturing of the skin is awesome. People are just loving this, and the more they do it, the better results they're getting. So people have done fractional lasers with the penetration into the skin. This is without the laser. So it's just an amazing, amazing, with no downtime treatment that people can come in on even a lunchtime and get it done and go back to work afterwards. So they're back to normal the next mm -hmm. day. The next day, yeah. They, you might have a little, few little pin marks on the forehead, but... Um, not not often, not that little makeup can't, you know, take place if you need to put a little makeup on to cover those, but you didn't find any, um, I mean, there's just, they don't have a whole lot of discoloration, there's no bruising involved, and a little bit of makeup will take care of this. Carrie, you still doing okay? I'm doing great.
fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say you'd fall asleep during this treatment. <laughs> She'll tell you the same thing. Um, but, you know, I make it worth it at the end. I give a little massage afterwards, and we'll put product in here that I feel that can just penetrate into that skin and actually go into the dermal cells to create that um, tightening and shrinkage and allow the product to be deposited where it needs to for the most benefit. Mm -hmm. So once again, I'm going to take this here around the mouth and to the chin. The secret here is to not push too hard. I find that when people start to do this, they end up pushing too hard and it really does drag and pull. So the more you do these, the easier it gets for you and your client. I've so let's had say she uh, has this treatment done and she wants to come back for her next one. How long is she going to wait? I do three weeks because I do, like I say, a microderm or a derma sweep before I do this procedure. We did that prior to me numbing her. And so I'd like them to recover and get some good wound healing going on and then they can come back and have it done again. Once again, make sure you turn this down if you feel like it's starting to catch a little bit. And then just put it tight here. Make sure you've got enough slip. And you just um, go around the eye here, just gently. And I try and pull that eye down. So a lot of your clients aren't going to want you want those eyelids to be tighter. So right. I just keep tension around that where the crow's feet is. And and crow's feet, right. Like so. Have you found any benefits from okay, you know, evening out skin tone or? It absolutely evens out skin tone. I've got some people here that um, I have done a lot with their um, acnetic scars. And oh my gosh, it's been amazing for acne scars. A lot of people come in with some acne, active acne, and I've actually treated those and had a great result with those, too. That's great. So, okay, I know it's a little bit more painful around the lips. A little bit. But if I can really work those lips, she's going to be so happy that we did, and she'll really notice a change. Pain's beauty. Pain is <laughs> beauty. Pain is beauty. Once again, I'm treating around her mouth here. it's important that you always wear gloves because people are going to bleed. So you make sure you always use sterile sure. technique as much as you can. And after I'm all done, I will take a warm cloth and wipe off her face and take all the blood residue off. So I saved the foreheads for last because I feel that the foreheads are the boniest and they're the most difficult to treat just because it's more sensitive there. Make sure you have a good layer of your hyaluronic on here. And I'll treat the forehead at just 5, the point 5. Um, and I usually, the most depth I'll do on the forehead is go to the 1. And all I'm going to do here is, I'm, once again, I'm going to hold the skin tight, and I'm going to come here above the eyebrow in a moon shape here over the eyebrow. Once again, I'm going to make my three passes. I find that making a circular pass on the forehead sometimes is much easier for the patient to handle than the straight across, but I'm going to try and treat her today doing both ways. Make sure you go down in that globular. So if I was a patient and wanted to come in and do this and I had um, maybe some wrinkles or maybe even some, some acne scars, um, why would you maybe recommend a Dermapen versus another treatment that's popular out there? Because there's nothing out there like this that's actually going to give you the penetration that you need to actually get the collagen to be stimulated. You've got to be something to stimulate that collagen to produce more. You're actually creating a wound in there, mm -hmm. so then the body has to rebuild and repair itself. And that's what we're doing here with the Dermapen. It's, it's really the most amazing treatment on the market right now. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, and I just have found that it's tolerable for people. Mm -hmm. They love the results. They look amazing when they're done. You can do nets. You can do decolletes with this. 
you can actually put a little bit of a glycolic peel over the top of it to give them even a little bit more benefit. And my clients have just loved it. So it sounds like you're using the body's own injury response to it. Absolutely. Okay. And Carrie's got to go back to work today. And she um, will look amazing. But Her she might look a little sunburned day, well, right? She'll look sunburned, yeah. But she's going to have a glow to her that is just... It would be awesome for her today. She could always say, she could always tell if she's been up for the speech books, right? <laughs> Not with saying it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's, well, there's actually been sun around, so it's kind of been good. Another thing I found, too, that is amazing, especially for my teenagers, that have bigger pores on their nose, yeah. if you actually can comb over this with those needles, and then in the, you know, in the evening or the next day, you know, do a little... Um, extractions on it, and you just get yeah. such great results with that. I mean, I found that to be amazing. I think an extraction of this would be great. Exactly. So, so now I'm just Well, anything that can actually, that's open up to more of a, maybe a salicylic acid mm -hmm. or a chemical pill. Yep. And I'll do a little... And help shrink those, pure, uh, those pores, mm -hmm. right? And I'll do a little Sensi peel on her, which is just a little salicylic after I'm done here. Okay. And tighten the... Feel burning or anything here? It feels, you know, it just feels warm. I'm still pretty numb. Yeah. Now, but is this going to cost more than a laser, for example, or? No. Well, it depends. You know, for me, I'm around two hundred dollars with a full-on microderm or a dermal sweep first with the numbing and the actual treatment. That's great. You can always buy packages. Mm -hmm. um, right now, for the holidays, I'm offering it for one fifty just to let everybody try it. I think it's something that you need to do for yourself. Ask Sandra to put this in your stocking for a gift <laughs> certificate. Um, it, it, it really is. I just find it to be the most amazing treatment out there. I think everybody... You do it once and you're addicted. You are right? addicted. That's why I call this place Beauty Addicts because we're all addicted to all this stuff. So This patient's actually 80 years old. <laughs> exactly, she is. She's beautiful. <laughs> so you can see how pretty her face is here. Now I've also numbed her neck so we can do a treatment on her neck. I find that my clients absolutely love this. So we're going to treat her neck the same way. So once again, I'm just going to take my alcohol and I'm going to cleanse the neck. I think it's really important before you're ever sticking needles into anybody that you make sure that you at least put some alcohol and give them a good cleansing before you do this. So I, I cleansed her face. We've done the derma sweep on her. We've numbed her face, and now we're finished that the face with the derma pen. Now I'm just going to do her neck. Now normally necks, I can treat everybody at about a 1.5. I don't like to go any farther than that because it does the neck is a little bit more sensitive than any other part of the the body. So, um, but I do get great results with the neck, and they feel good with it. They actually do get some tightening with that. Try not to ever touch your tip of your hyaluronic on their skin because you want to be able to reuse it on another patient. And I always wipe everything down with a sanding cloth so it keeps my area, my workstation clean. All right, Carrie, are we ready? Ready. Okay, my dear. So I'm going to take it to the 1.5. And once again, I'm going to just use gauze to hold some tension on the neck. And I'm just going to hold it tight. And in a slow motion. I think that's a secret too. I think some people get a little anxious with this and they want to just go fast to get it over with. I think it's um, a lot more uncomfortable for the client and I don't think you get as good a result. You have to have time for those needles to penetrate that skin. So once I'm done high, I just move my gauze down low and I just hold it tight and finish the bottom part of the neck. Yeah, I think we actually tend to focus more on the face, don't we? We forget that. We do, and you know what? For for aging skin, mm -hmm. we need to all focus on the neck because I think for all of us, we forget to put product down on our neck. We get our face, and then that's what ages us the most. The necks are the very number one thing that are that show our age, and so if we can remember the neck, I don't charge for the necks on my clients. I just do that for them as a pro bono thing. And um, they appreciate that because a lot of people, they miss the neck. Mm -hmm. It does take me a little bit longer to do and a little bit more numbing cream, but um, it's so worth it for my clients. But you're just a giver. 
<laughs> well, I like to be. I like to make people beautiful and feel good about themselves, and and that's why I have this business so I can make people feel good for them. And make people happy. Yeah. So I do like the circle technique on the neck the most. You can still see I'm keeping things tight, and sometimes I think when you do a across this way, sometimes you tend to catch a little bit more. So I usually go in a vertical and in circles on the neck. So you can do whatever you're comfortable with. This is just a technique that I've come up with. Chad got me using this about a month ago and I've already gone through two boxes of needles. Um, I can't, he can't keep up with me. I keep telling him, Chad, I need more, I need more. So, I think you're just giving the treatment as well. Great. I love this. I, I do. I, I loved it myself. I had it done myself, and I loved what it did for my skin. I'm ready for my other one. I've only had, I had it done about three weeks ago, and I am ready for another one. Now, it does hurt a little bit more on the jawline, but I think it's important that you get up underneath the chin as well. So, my rule of thumb is if I see white, I realize maybe I haven't gone over that. So I'm going to just hit this again to make sure I haven't missed anything. So it's going to work on all skin types? It's going to work on all skin types. Um, I can do Fitzpatrick 6 with this and feel very comfortable doing this kind of a treatment for them. That's what I love about stuff like this because you do have to be so careful with skin types. The only thing I would treat it on is an active acne patient. Mm -hmm. um, maybe try and clear them up a little bit first, but I know that I've done some peels, some chemical peels for some clients, and then treated them after they've healed with um, this Dermapan, and I've gotten a great result for them. I've done men, and my men actually love it. It's a little bit more difficult to treat the areas with the whiskers, but they have loved it. And I'll even do the men down in their neck, because a lot of men carry acne under their ears and, you know, down their neck a little bit. So We're I like to, <laughs> to treat them. We work in the mind all day. <laughs> yes. So, anyway, if you notice Carrie's lips, can you see how plump they are? And they just look so nice for her. Wow. How do you feel, Carrie? I feel you great. feel good? I feel good. You're right. Great. I mean, honestly, that's great. <laughs> so I'm done with the needling well, part of the minutes. procedure. Now I'm going to just start putting on my product. So you can do any kind of product that you want for your patient, depending on their skin type. So like I say, for her, I'm going to do just a little bit of a Scentsy peel on her, which is just a little bit of salicylic. Then I'm going to do some, you know, corrective, you know, products on her, and then finish off with an epidermal repair cream. So when I'm done, her face will be absolutely beautiful. It'll be tight. She'll feel like she's taken 10 years off of her skin. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so you want to look 10 years younger, come to Beauty Addict? Beauty Addict. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, come see Rhonda. And have this treatment done. And give yourself a Christmas treat. So, Or just buy the Dermapen. It will, it will increase <laughs> your business. It will, um, it will be awesome. Great. She looks happy. <laughs> she is happy, aren't you, Carrie? I am. I think the epidermal repair cream is probably my favorite thing to use here. You need to have some kind of a repair on the face. So after the treatment, just a nice, mm -hmm. it's not, um, it looks a little rich, but it's not going to clog her pores. No. Nope. But her skin will feel, what, tight? It'll, It'll feel, feel dry. Tight and awesome, yeah. So you want to have that moisture property. You, you, during the healing process, your skin does feel a little dry. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to keep, I think the the Hydrating B5 Serum helps during the procedure. I also think that um, afterwards, while the healing process is taking place, sure. it's really important to keep the skin hydrated. And so she, can she wash her face tonight, normal, she and can. just yep, wake up tomorrow? Yep, and do this, you know, put her makeup on if she Great. needs to. I like people to not put any makeup on the first day, of course, because we've got little pinholes in there, but the next day they're back to normal. This redness will only last on her for about an hour and it will be gone and she doesn't have any little pinholes on her face to even give us away, Carrie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, thanks, Rhonda. <laughs> You're so welcome. Thank you, Carrie. It was awesome. That's so, it. That's great. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome.